In this quick tip, we'll use the Oxford EQ to filter out some unwanted frequencies from both an acoustic guitar and a bass track. So let's first put an EQ on an acoustic guitar track from another short TV cue. So you've got five separate bands to work with, including the mids, high mids, highs. You've also got low pass and high pass filters. So to filter out some of the low frequencies and let the high frequencies through, you're going to turn on the LF filter button. Then we select the desired slope with the slope button. You can choose from 6 dBs per octave, 12, 18, 24, 30, or 36. For this guitar, I'll select 18 dBs per octave. Now, by sweeping the frequency knob, we can choose where we want the filtering to begin. I can take it up even higher, up to 400 hertz. You can hear what that can do. Let's bring it back down to something realistic, something around 80. I'm going to also pull some of the low mids out, around 120, just a couple of dBs worth. There we go. Then I'll turn the LF button off, just to make sure I'm removing what I want. That sounds good. Now, to widen up the guitar imaging, I'm going to send it to a small room on an Oxford reverb. I really don't want the low end to be swimming around in this reverb, which is another reason to remove those frequencies in the bottom of the track with the filter. I'll just pull it down, off, bring it up just a little bit to hear the sound. There we go. Notice I'm panning the reverb to the right, since the mono guitar is slightly left. Since I like what I've got going there, I'm going to open up the EQ, go to the presets menu, select save setting as, and just name my preset for future use. I'll just call it acoustic guitar filter cut. That way I'll know what it is when I need it again. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of the song and do the same thing for bass guitar. Just roll it back from the top, solo the bass, put an EQ on. This is an old Fender bass recorded direct. Just needs to have a little of the bottom removed, maybe some of the top. So we'll go to the frequency. Okay, right around there. See how quick that is? Nice and easy. Go up too high, purposely bring it back down. Something right around there. Okay, remove a little extra low mids. Okay, let's smooth out the top a little bit. 18 dBs per octave. There you go, that sounds better. Good. Add the drums in. Really want to make room for the kick drum by filtering some of the low end of the bass out. Seems a little muddy like this. You can really see how it removed a lot of the low end mud. Add the guitars back in. Good. Make a few minor adjustments. I think I'm going to brighten the acoustic guitar a little, something around 9K. Turn it on. I think I'll push it up a little higher. CQ is so smooth you can turn it up that much. Balance out the drums a little bit. Okay, good. So you can see how fast and easy it is to clean up the bottom of a track using the filters and just a few bands from the Oxford EQ.